Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. Today we're going to be looking at copper. China, the world's largest consumer of copper, has just met its government's GDP growth target. And the price is also running into a potential downtrend line. So we're going to be looking at the potential for copper prices going forward. As mentioned, China is the world's largest consumer of copper. So copper can be a good one to trade if you're looking at an upcoming Chinese uh, economic release. Copper will be often one of the biggest reactors to it. Equally, if you're looking to just judge how well the Chinese economy is doing, copper is often a good barometer for that. Uh, we've seen for the opening few months of 2014, the prices came off. They hit close to four-year lows down below uh, $3 per pound. Uh, but have since uh, an effort by the Chinese government to stimulate the economy, uh, since around March, we've seen a rally up of around 30 cents to the current levels. Now, if we have a quick look at the price chart for copper, we can see that a, uh, in front of us we have a weekly candlestick chart. And on the most recent price action, the price has made both a higher low and a higher high, denoting a short-term uptrend. We're above the 21-week SMA. But on a longer-term perspective, we're stuck between $3 and $3.40 per pound with $3.80 being the upper end of a longer term range. And we have right in front of us an unconfirmed downtrend line, which over the, the last couple of weeks has caused a bit of short term resistance in the, in the price. And the question will be going forward after today's positive Chinese GDP number, which actually beat expectations of 7.4%, um, hitting the government target of 7.5%, the question is, will that be enough to drive copper through this trend line and put it back up to this $3.40 area and possibly back up to $3.80? The weekly RSI is not overbought to the 66 level yet, so that may suggest there is still some upside potential. Now, taking a look at this chart, we can see that CMC clients are, for the most part, having a, a bullish sentiment towards copper, but obviously keep in mind that this data is updated every minute, so the numbers may be a little different by the time you see this video. Okay, that's it for this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot on copper. Keep an eye out on Chinese economic data. Watch out for this downward sloping trend line on the copper chart, and good luck trading.